Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2022 Incarnation Lenten Devotion. I hope this devotion helps you to remember who God is and who we are throughout the 40 days of Lenten season this year. Then, let's get started. April 6th, Wednesday. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him. And when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Luke chapter 10, verses 33 to 34. Oil of Compassion No matter how many times I read or hear this story, the physicality of the Samaritan's compassion touches me. The priest and the Levite go to the other side of the road. They literally distance themselves from the wounded men in the ditch. The Samaritan goes closer, moved by pity. He gets down into the ditch with the suffering traveler. The text says, He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. In verse 34. The hands-on care continues as the Samaritan transports the man to the inn and cares for him there. He provides funds for ongoing care and promises to return, all for a stranger. No wonder the lawyer answers Jesus with such speed and clarity when asked, Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the men who fell into the hands of the robbers? Obvious to even the lawyer who wanted to justify himself, the unequivocal answer is the one who showed him mercy. Just as the cruelty of the robbery entailed physical close contact, so does the mercy that seeks to amend the injuries and pain. Healing cannot happen from a distance. Compassion moves us to act, to get into the ditch, to pour oil on wounds and bandage them, to ensure the person brutalized and violated knows another side to humanity, to strangers. In the summer of 2017, while living in Charlottesville, Virginia, I participated with other faith leaders in offering a counter witness to what was deemed the summer of hate. When neo-Nazis and white supremacists rallied in the streets of our university town, the events of August 12 of that year turned Charlottesville from a place into an event. White supremacists, neo-Nazis, and a myriad of counter-protesters converged, and chaos and violence ensued. The experience marked a turning point in my own life of faith, facing the undeniable reality of deadly hate directed at Jews, African Americans, and anyone deemed not white by those chanting blood and soil. Those events removed the naive scales from my eyes, scales too many of my neighbors never had the luxury of wearing. Physical brutality invaded the streets. People were beaten, pepper sprayed, pelted with bottles of urine. My neighbors were terrorized. The physical beauty of compassion, though, refused to relent even in the midst of AK-47s, cruel chants, and real and present danger. Strangers intervened, putting their bodies between those threatened with fists and weapons. Strangers set up tents and cradled in their laps those whose eyes burned with pepper spray pouring water over their faces, wiping them dry with towels and their own shirts. Strangers huddled in prayer with those afraid, weeping, distraught. Those moved with pity went into the ditch toward the suffering and showed mercy. On that weekend of hate, 
countless people also became neighbors. The oil of compassion flowed in those violent streets. Frankly, we need more of it in all our streets. Questions for reflection: One, when have you been moved with pity to go toward someone in the ditch, literally or figuratively? What did you do once you got there? Two, have you ever been physically cared for by a stranger? When has someone poured oil and wine on your wounds? Three. Who has been a neighbor to you? To whom are you a neighbor? Let's pray. Jesus, this very day, you are calling us to be neighbors to someone in need of mercy. As we go about our tasks and routines, help us to see those suffering in the ditch. Strengthen our faith in you in order to embolden us to move toward our neighbors. In need of compassion, if we find ourselves wounded and afraid, send Samaritans to minister to us. May each encounter of this day make manifest our love for you and for our neighbors. Amen. Thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.